welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be making a line monster using oil pastels and watercolor paint. To get started, you're going to get a sheet of white construction paper and I want you to hold it portrait style so it's longer up and down than it is side to side. We're going to start with our oil pastels and you can use any color that you want and you can also place the lines in whatever order you want. I'm just going to show you some examples of lines you can do. One line you can do is called a castle line. So you go straight across, then down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, just like that. So you're going all the way from one side of your paper all the way to the other. Another line you can do is called a cloud line. And this is like making a lot of W's that connect. So you just go down and up, down and up. Another line you can do is a zigzag line. So this is like making a capital M that connects all the way from one side to the other. Of course, you can always make a straight line. You could also do a wavy line so this curves up and then curves down. You can make a line using loops. You can make a line using dashes. And there's many more lines that you can do. These are just some examples. Once your paper is filled up with lines, you're ready to start painting. You're gonna get some watercolor paint and a cup of water. Don't forget to wet your paintbrush before you pick the color paint you wanna use. You can choose to paint whatever colors you want, but you wanna make sure to paint from one side of your paper all the way to the other. And I want you to try to keep each section a different color. So that means that I'm painting a different color in between each set of lines. Don't forget to wash your paintbrush in a cup of water each time you switch colors. Once you have a different color painted in each section and there's no more white space left on your paper, then you're ready to put your paper on the drying rack. Now I have a paper that has already dried. So once your paper's dry, you're gonna cut out part of the top here. So you're gonna make just the top rounded. So I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna start about at the middle, and I'm just gonna cut off the corners here. Once it's cut out and it's rounded at the top, you're gonna get a piece of colored construction paper and you can use whatever color you want. So I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna flip this over onto the back. I'm gonna get some glue and I'm just gonna make a thin line of glue that goes all around the edge. And then I'm gonna do some zigzags in the middle. Then I'm gonna flip it over and right at the bottom of the paper, I'm gonna glue down the monster. And you wanna press down to make sure it sticks. Now if you want, you can cut these into ears. So what I like to do is just cut this into a triangle by just cutting off the corner so that it's three straight lines like a triangle. Once your triangles are cut out, then you can get some glue, put that on the back, just around the edges, and then you'll glue that down for ears. Now you're also going to get some eyes for your monster. So you'll get some big white circles and then some smaller black circles. So you can have, you could do a one-eyed monster, you could have two eyes, you could do three if you wanted. I'm gonna do two eyes. I'm gonna glue around the edge of the white circle. Then I'm gonna flip it over and press it down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the black, but I'm just gonna add in a little dot of glue in the middle. And I can glue that down just in the middle anywhere on that white circle. And depending on where you put these black circles, you can kind of make it look silly. So I'm gonna make my monster look silly. So I put one up towards the top and one down towards the bottom. So we're almost done. Now we just have to make a mouth. You're gonna get a piece of scrap black paper. And with this, you can do different kinds of mouths. So you could just cut a square or rectangle and you could use that if you wanted. I'm gonna make it a little bit rounded on one side. So I'm gonna cut off the corners just on the one side and that's gonna make it look like it's smiling. So I'll do the same thing, add a line of glue just around the edge, flip it over and press down. And now all we have to do is give our monster some teeth. So you're gonna get a sheet of white paper for this. And if you wanna make, say you wanna make sharp teeth, you're gonna cut like you're cutting a zigzag. So you cut up just like that. So if you want it to have sharp teeth, then you can glue them down and have sharp teeth like that. If you wanna have square teeth, 
then you would just cut out little squares. So sometimes the easiest way to do this is just to cut out a little rectangle. So you just cut out a little rectangle and then you just cut them into squares and you can glue them down. So my monster, I'm gonna go with sharp teeth. So I'm gonna use the triangles. I'm just gonna put a little tiny dot of glue, just a little, not a lot, and I'll glue that down. And that's it, that's all there is for our line monster. Don't forget if you wanna leave me a comment or tweet me a picture to follow me on Twitter at MixItUpArt, and as always, have fun.